Hey everybody, I'm Heather, and that's Alan, and we are Say Love E3. Uh, welcome back to our continuing build of our 2016 Ram ProMaster that we're going to take with us to Europe. This is part three of our floor. The first two parts were one install the mounting brackets for chairs. Step two was insulation and step three is going to be the subfloor. So the subfloor for us is going to be um, roughly three quarter inch but it's not really that. It's like 23rd, 30 seconds or something crazy like that. But uh, three quarter inch uh, plywood. So uh, come with us as we start part three of the floor and get just one step closer. That's right. So technically after we're done with part three, are we going to be done with the floor? Well, yeah. Not even because... Because then we have our, we've purchased vinyl plank floor mm -hmm. that's going to go in on top of this, but we can't do that because it's a floating floor until we get the cabinet square and installed. So steps, lots and lots, lots of, of steps. steps. <laughs> oh my. All right. All right. Let's get some, uh, let's get some plywood in here. Sounds good to me. Then we can have a real floor. Yeah. All right, for this first part, I'm going to use uh, some packing paper. For this first, oh. for this first part, I'm going to use some packing paper, uh, and we're going to use this to uh, get a level spot for our floor, and we're going to trace um, the tracks, so that way we know where we're putting everything. Okay. So what Heather was doing was just cutting the edge so we can get a good 90 so we're going to lay this out for the front half and around the tracks and then from there we'll uh, start using it as the initial template for the main template which is part of our insulation All right, thermoply, terrible idea for a template and uh, insulation. Basically, it's just too much wood material and it's going to uh, absorb insane amount of water and it's gonna create a lot of issues. So, we're not gonna use thermoply. So instead, we're gonna go with uh, an underlamit as a template. We're gonna go straight down onto the floor and I've gotten the plywood in. We are using, it's three quarter inch tongue and groove. All right, you ready to get started, buddy? Yeah. Let's do it. Silver, guys. So we got Miss Heather here, and she is going to, oops, sorry. And B. Oh, and B. And Heather is going to uh, take our template that was made out of thermoply, and we are going to put it over the top of Let's see if I can get that. Blue Hawk uh, under laminate. This is going to be used as our double as our template, as well as the uh, actual underlaminate for our uh, floor. So that's the uh, that's the game plan. Let's see if it works.
gonna do? I'm gonna turn this on. We have cut out all the templates, um, and now we're going to hit this with uh, some high gloss. Sorry, shaky. High gloss lacquer. This is going to basically just give us one extra coat of protection, so that we have water, moisture, or something like that get into the van, probably from the kids spilling the drink, and it goes down to the ground. Um, but we plan on uh, using silicone to caulk up the edges, as well as um, using a little bit more expanded foam to fill up some of the gaps. But Never, uh, never a bad idea if you got it out. I didn't get marine grade wood. I just got standard uh, uh, pine. So, so I would just go that route. That you know what? I think marine grade plywood way overkill. Um, and I think I don't really like the gases. I don't like the chemicals. I don't like all the stuff that comes with it. So I'm going to spray my own chemicals and gases on it. Uh, so I know how very little I put. Uh, yeah, this would be really straightforward. Watch somebody spray something. Today to finish up the subfloor project, we are going to put some bolts in. I was originally going to free float the floor. Um, it's, it's not a house, it's moving. I'm worried about things flying in the event of a wreck. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt them down. I'm going to use bolts sparingly. Um, and how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a 5 16th, let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. I'm going to use this 5 16th bolt. And after that, I'm going to use a tea nut. In case you guys don't know what a tea nut is, it's basically a special kind of washer with teeth. So I was hoping that uh, I could just get away with doing the outside edges of the uh, of the plywood to screw it down. Oops, forgot that was there. Um, that's not going to work. The uh, the middle is bowing up when I tighten it, so I need to get uh, bolts down the center as well, which means I had to drop. I have to drop the uh, spare tire, which is what this is for. I got to get the uh, iron out so it... tire gone. But luckily, I. Uh, I did this in my Suburban on the side of 285 in Atlanta one time. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. This is unique. figure 20 bucks says that is not a Dodge design or a Ram design whatever you want to call it that was European worked good
Heather forgot to get the wrong bolts. Very funny. Going back to Lowe's to get the right one. Not me, him. Alright guys, floor is done. It's all bolted down. Only one less part for uh, this, the floor install here, for the subfloor at least, is uh, put some silicone along the uh, edges here. There's about um, a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch, depending on how straight my cuts were, um, along the edges here. And that was simply because the wood's going to contract or uh, sh shrink and can extend. Yeah. Um, over a period of time and so we're gonna put some uh, caulk inside here and that way uh, it'll keep water and moisture and cookie crumbs and whatever else might fall back here out so we're gonna do the whole van um, around the edges for sure of the wood let me switch hands here one other thing we might do which I haven't decided yet is if I want to put caulk in these like little small gaps here along the uh, the tracks uh, I'm gonna put for sure a uh, rubber guard that goes over the top of it um, however if uh, if I want it to be more thorough in an event that any drink spill or something like that this will put in that caulk in these gaps here will prevent any uh, like, heaven forbid like milk or something like that makes its way down there oh, oh gross so I think where I'm gonna go with is number one priority all the perimeter if i have leftovers i'll fill in the gaps here inside these uh tracks all right Alright guys, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching. The plywood project was probably one of the more straightforward ones. It actually met my deadline. It took roughly uh, four and a half hours to um, cut it, shop for it, bring it back, install it. Now piecing together four and a half hours, that was not the easy part for me. Um, basically I did about an uh, hour and a half at a time and then I got called away or I had to do something that another hour and a half at a time. But uh, you can knock this out basically in an afternoon um, if you can dedicate and you have all the tools and everything ready to go. The project itself, it was great. Um, so three pieces of plywood, here's the thing I didn't like, I ended up putting 12 more holes into my dam. Yeah, uh, I wasn't very excited about that. Uh, I did make sure to treat all the holes that I ended up cutting with uh, some Rust-Oleum, paint it up real well, and then um, use uh, stainless hardware where I could. Uh, stainless is expensive, just a heads up. The uh, rest of it, man, went like, uh, went like butter. I would tell you, make sure you take your time measuring out your cuts and everything else will uh, go smoothly after that. I did have one error over in the tracks where I mistakenly cut off on an angle, but well, it happens. My goal is to be very slow and meticulous on the next part, which brings me to this. 
stay tuned for the next part. It's going to be great. We're going to take and throw down some vinyl plank, and then we're going to uh, beauty up this whole floor and make it shine. So I uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the next video, which is 1.4 of the floor, and then we'll be done with the floor. If you don't count the kickboard and the trim pieces that we're going to try to add, we'll be done with the floor. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, throw them down below. I'll be sure to get to them as I can. Thank you, guys. Bye.